Let's turn our attention here for three or four minutes to pass through disks. Now, a pass through disk is a disk that stores data outside a virtual hard disk. The data simply passes through the VHD to that physical disk location. Now, when you're in a situation where you're running a virtual machine and you know you're going to store quite a bit of memory or quite a bit of data and it's not going to be as efficient to do it inside the virtual hard disk. We want to pass it through and get it out to, you know, our disk subsystem that's a lot faster and more efficient. So we can set that up as a pass through disk store. Now, to configure and use a pass through disk, I'm going to step you through this and you should play with this in Hyper V and just get comfortable with it before you go take the exam. But I want to talk you through it so we can go step by step by step and I'm not confuse you. Now the first thing you want to do is go into the disk management tool and create a raw volume just like you always would. Then you want to bring the disk online. Now let me jump out here to the server manager and uh, actually I already have computer management opened up. Notice back to that example I did way back on creating virtual hard disks part two. This little virtual hard disk that I created We've been mounting that thing and using it right out there as the F drive. And um, notice right here, this is that virtual hard disk. It's actually physically on that thumb drive as Mark Class EX. But if I wanted to use this as a pass through, there's one main thing that needs to happen here. I am going to, and it has to do with online, offline. I'm going to take this thing offline right here. Now keep in mind when I created this, right, I had to go in here and, and format this disk. Then I had to create a volume that had set the format on the volume. And then I had to bring it online, initialize it, blah, blah, blah. Then when I've done all that, I want to go back and take that thing back offline. Okay. So notice I create a raw volume. I bring the disk online, then I can initialize it. And once I've initialized it, that means, initializing means I've set an operating system on it, it formatted it, it's all set up. And once I've got it initialized, then I want to uh, jump back out there. Whoop, let me go right here. I want to jump back out there uh, in my management tool and I want to take it offline. It's got to be offline out here. That sounds a little counterintuitive. But what we're really going to do, we're going to turn this thing back online once we get our virtual machine up and running inside computer management in there. All right. So that's a little advertisement for where we're headed there. Now, let me close this and uh, let's go back. So after I've initialized the disk, I'm going to right click it, set it offline out there in computer management on the host system. Now, if I'm creating a new virtual machine in Hyper-V, I want to tell Hyper-V that don't worry about the hard disk. I'll choose to attach a hard disk to this virtual machine later. Then I'm going to work with the virtual manager or the virtual machine. And if it already exists, I'm simply going to open the settings on the VM in Hyper-V Manager, the management tool for Hyper-V. And keep in mind, the VM has to be stopped to change these settings unless I'm using a SCSI controller. Keep in mind for the exam, that little tidbit right there. So I want to click add and select physical hard disk. Choose the volume that I created and I left out there in the offline state. It'll appear in the little drop down box. You can't miss it. Then once I've chosen that, then I can start up my virtual machine, log into it, open disk management inside the virtual machine, right click on that new drive and select online and I then have a pass through disk. Everything is moving through. The disk will appear in Explorer. I can save things to that. Keep in mind when I save things to that particular disk, it's not staying within the virtual hard disk. It's passing through going out to that location. So a lot of neat stuff and I don't have to use a VHD for that. I can put it out there just on a regular disk, kick it out to more sophisticated disk storage systems, but that's the bottom line on pass through disks. Understand what they are and watch that aspect 
of having to leave them offline out there in the host, you want to set them online from within the virtual machine. 